The decision was to be expected, but not at these proportions. On Wednesday, the Saudi-led OPEC group announced plans to reduce oil production by 2 million barrels per day from November, from the 79 million barrels produced worldwide. Over the past several weeks, OPEC plus countries, which include 23 of the world's major oil powers, have not held back their concerns about the fall in prices against the backdrop of the global economic slowdown. Since the summer, the price of a barrel of Brent crude has depreciated below the symbolic $100 per barrel mark. The reason of OPEC is the following. If we go towards a recession, it means that the world will consume less oil because the world economy will be in recession. It's better to be proactive and to start reducing production now to avoid a possible fall in prices in the future. It's a decision that has the White House concerned, with record inflation already inflicting severe damage on Joe Biden's standing this year. OPEC's latest move now serves to ignore both efforts at isolating Moscow and desperate attempts to hold down fuel prices ahead of the U.S. midterm elections. For Russia, on the other hand, it's promising news. The world's second largest oil producer continues to sell its black gold to many countries, despite the international sanctions linked to the war in Ukraine.